Hello guys and welcome back once again to the Asian channel. And today we are going to talk about Russia finally confirms that 5th generation stealth fighter SC-57 Felon is participating in active missile defense operation. But as everyone expected, the state-of-the-art fighter is only executing long-range strikes on specific targets within Ukrainian territory. So the SE-57 is doing a patrol mission within the safety of Russian airspace and firing long-range weapons on Ukrainian targets at the front lines. There are multiple factors why they're currently only used for this kind of operation. Number one is that they're currently testing the aircraft for real combat situation and make improvements in the future from the lessons learned on the ongoing war. Number two, they're also avoiding the massive negative propaganda fallout if their most advanced fighter they touted as the best stealth fighter jet in the world gets shoot down. Third, they are also avoiding the possibility of the aircraft's sensitive technology falling to the enemy's hand if the aircraft is shoot down with Ukrainian territory. The Russian also confirmed the SC-57 is using the most modern version of their long-range air-to-air RVV-BD developmental missile, which is called the R-37M, when it entered service. Long-range strike is achieved through the use of precision-guided missiles, which possesses the striking capability to accurately hit targets at a very far distance. The R-37M has a maximum range of up to 398 kilometers. Take note, this is the maximum distance that the missile could reach, but at this range, the missile has basically lost its boosters and it's just gliding to its target. So the enemy aircraft can maneuver and try to avoid the missile, while missile would have a hard time chasing because the missile lost its maneuverability at this point. If the missile make more turns, it loses more kinetic energy during flight. It is believed that the R-37M has an effective range of 120 to 150 kilometers. At this point, the missile is still flying at a very high speed and it's still being powered by its rocket booster, so it can make very sharp turns to find its target and hit it with accuracy. This limitation is applicable to all missiles out there. They're usually used on their effective range rather than maximum range. The missile is also integrated to the MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor aircraft. This is the reason why there is no MiG-31 ever lost in Ukraine. Russia is also planning to incorporate them to their most technologically advanced and mass-produced fighter in service, which is the SC-35. Russia has lost many fighter jets during the initial stage of the war, when they were very aggressive at the start, when trying to take control of Ukraine's airspace, and they performed multiple seed operations or suppression of enemy air defense. It was when the time when they tried to end the war quick with the initial shock and all campaign. Now that the Russian Air Force has changed tactics, they have minimal losses on air-to-air -air combats instead, and will successfully destroy multiple Ukrainian fighter jets in return. Currently, the Russian Air Force don't venture into Ukrainian airspace. They're mainly doing long-range patrol missions near the front lines and doing escort missions to Russian attack helicopters and Su-25 attack aircraft from a distance, protecting them from Ukraine and fighter jets while they are flying low and doing ground assaults on the front line and supporting ground troops. The integration of new long-range R-37M air-to-air missile is probably in preparation for the coming F-16 to be given by the United States and its allies to Ukraine. U.S. and NATO countries pledged to give around 42 to 60 F-16 aircraft to Ukraine to keep their air force fighting. Ukraine has lost a lot of their fighter jets after more than a year of war. What do you think of the new R-37 missile against the F-16? Would it be effective? Or do you think the F-16 to Ukraine is going to be a game changer? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you want more topics like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you soon.